then I read the notebooks after I met my wife. And, you know, I had respect for her. Like, I could read in the things that I liked her. You know, thank God, I, I had a like her. I mean, she was my girlfriend, but I could see me, the writing of me from liking her to falling in love with her. That's pretty fucking amazing. Like, I saw the writing cross over. Then there was a big gap in notebooks. Like, for some reason, I, there was, like, two notebooks that were missing. And I picked up again when the cocaine, when I was free from the cocaine. That's why I tell you guys, you got to write those journals. And when you finish, just put them in a the drawer. And just keep writing and put them in a the drawer and put them in a the drawer and put them in a the drawer. And then when you have a time, put them in a box and put, like, a note of what years these were. If I could do it all over again, I would do it that much better. I did the best I could for what I knew. But now at 57, guys, you got to keep a journal. You got to keep a journal to see where your heart is on a daily basis and why you feel that way. I'm telling you, it's like documenting everything. I read shit that made me fucking cringe of what I was thinking. I was not right in the fucking head. But when you read the, the paperwork from 2006, the journal from 2007. When you read the journals from 2009, it's like a different fucking person. You could see the influence the drugs had over my mind, my creativity, everything that surrounded me. Drugs were a major part of me. It's a fucking nightmare to read. 